Hey everybody, it's Paige, and for today's video, I have some brand new e.l.f. products to try out. I recently received a PR package from e.l.f., and we have a ton of new stuff in here that I have never tried before, so I thought it would be fun to sit down and film a little first impressions review. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. I feel like it's been a while since I've worn my hair straight in a video, so I thought it would be fun to switch it up today. Also, I am slowly adjusting my background I went out and purchased this huge Himalayan salt lamp it is so cute I am obsessed with it I replaced the one that was here which I was borrowing from my friend Alicia so so far this is like my little corner <laughs> and then the rest of this stuff is all Alicia's that I'm still borrowing besides the troll so slowly I'm going to be replacing items and just kind of adjusting my background as we go but anyway, enough rambling. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven new items to try today. I will have these linked down below. I am so excited. So we have a new primer, and this is the Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. Definitely reminds me of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Similar name, similar color. I really like the Milk Primer. I also tend to love e.l.f.'s primers, so I have really high hopes for this. Here is what the packaging looks like. This whole like line kind of matches my sweatshirt, which is part of why I decided to wear it in today's video. So the Power Grip Primer retails for $10, and it says that it is a fragrance-free and oil-free primer that keeps makeup in place all day long. We will see about that. We also have a Brow Freeze product in here. This definitely gives me um, ABH vibes. I'm trying to get it out of the packaging, <laughs> but I can't. So we have a Brow Freeze product here oh no it's called the brow lift but it reminds me of the brow freeze from ABH there's a little applicator with a spoolie we have some lip liners some glossy lip stains a setting spray as well as a sponge so I'm gonna be trying out everything in this PR package today I'm gonna go ahead and wet the sponge and then I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we will start applying the products so this is the angled silicone face sponge here's what the packaging looks like it's a really cute color it's like that minty green kind of teal. Oh, interesting. It has like a different texture on the bottom. It feels kind of like almost like silicone on the bottom. So here's what it looks like when it's dry. I'm going to go ahead and wet this and I will be right back. And here's what it looks like wet. It definitely grew in size. It feels very soft very squishy which I'm excited about and again the bottom has like a silicone kind of feel to it so I'll have to read up on this product but it says that it is an angled silicone face sponge this retails for six dollars and it says that it features three sides for super smooth blending three sides <laughs> one two three I guess yeah one two three so there's this little piece here so that you can get right up under your under eye area to blend products out I suppose so let's go ahead and zoom in and apply the primer all right so here is the current state of my skin I do have some breakouts some redness some hyperpigmentation we are gonna go in with the primer which again is the power grip primer I love the packaging I like that it is a like squeezy tube with a pump on it I don't know why but I just really like that packaging so let's go ahead and pump this out and see what the texture feels like okay immediately reminds me of the milk hydro grip primer and I actually went ahead and grabbed it so that I could compare so let me put this right next to the elf so here we have the elf here we have the milk they have a pretty similar consistency you can see them moving down my hand I'll kind of get you a closer look so here's the elf here is the milk the milk looks a little bit thicker than the elf so let's go ahead and go in with the elf primer I'm gonna start with one pump and see how far that gets us it definitely feels similar to the milk primer I'm gonna see if this gets tacky as it sets on my skin but so far it definitely feels quite similar 
So it's been about 30 seconds or so, which is how long it says to wait before applying makeup on the back of the primer. So I'm going to touch my skin. Oh yeah, definitely have a bit of that tacky feeling. This, I feel like, is going to be incredible. I think this is a new dupe for the Milk Primer, which I'm really excited about because the e.l.f. one is only $10, <laughs> whereas the Milk one is like $40 or something crazy like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do some more makeup. <laughs> We're gonna try the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation with this primer and I'm gonna try out the sponge I love this primer or this foundation. I use it all the time. This is my go-to favorite foundation So let's go ahead and try it on the sponge and see how I like it So I just did one pump directly onto the sponge and this is a medium coverage, medium to build dual coverage natural finish foundation. Look at how good that already looks Wow, and I wore the shade 17.5N. I did another pump of foundation and now I'm applying it to this side. And I will say, I really like the sponge so far. It's making my foundation look really smooth. I also like how big this flat side of the sponge is because you can really cover a lot of area in a short amount of time. So I built up the coverage on the foundation in a few areas, but here is what my skin is looking like. I gotta say, I am absolutely loving the way that my skin looks. Now we're gonna go in with some concealer. I am using the Revlon Colorstay Full Coverage Concealer, and again, we're gonna see how the sponge blends out this concealer. So far, so good with the concealer. I'm gonna use the little flat side here to try to get in my under eye area and blend out this concealer. It looks so good. Look at that. This sponge is super soft. It's definitely on the softer side. It's not very firm, so you kind of have to pinch it to like get a little bit of extra firmness if you are tapping like this, but I actually like that because then you have more control over the texture of your sponge. So um, if I just went like this, it would kind of collapse in on itself if I don't pinch but if I grab up here and kind of pinch on the sides it gives it some stability and really blends out well I'm really liking that I forgot about the bottom side of this the silicone part <laughs> so maybe I'll try that out in a second but I really like the regular part of the sponge a lot. I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer to my chin even though I already did, but I wanna try to use the bottom side of this sponge. You can see where it's darker, it's like a different texture. So let's go ahead and blend this out. Oh, look at that. Definitely you get more coverage if you use the silicone portion of the sponge. It didn't absorb the product, so it's kind of sitting on top of the sponge a little bit more, so you get more coverage that way because you're not wasting any product getting soaked in, which I'm sure this soaks in a lot of product because it is so soft, but that looks really nice. I honestly like using it both ways. I feel like I prefer this way just because this feels a little bit firm, a little bit uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable. It's just a little bit firm and feels weird to be like tapping this on my skin. I like the way this side feels better and it did so good. I am thoroughly impressed so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do powder, bronzer, blush, highlight, and then I will be back for brows and lips and setting spray. All right, so here is what my makeup is looking like. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying the base products. Well, the sponge and the primer <laughs> from e.l.f. And I really like the way that they're playing with my other products. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to brows. So we have the Brow Lift, which is a potted clear brow gel. Like I said, this definitely reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. We also have the Brow Lift Applicator, which has a little scooper on one side and a spoolie on the other and the brow lift retails for six dollars it says sculpted lifted tamed fluff it up with long lasting hold and then the uh, brow lift applicator retails for four dollars and it says a dual ended tool for easy as elf styling so i'm not like huge on the fluffy brow trend these are my natural brows i have pretty full long not super neat looking brows so um let's go ahead and try this out i'm not gonna do like full-on fluff so we'll see if i can kind of get 
somewhere in between this and like full fluffy brow. So we have the applicator scooper on one side and then the spoolie on the other. And then here is the brow lift. It's just in a simple component. So let's go ahead and scoop some out oh, with the scooper. Oh, interesting. It's softer than I expected. I haven't tried the Brow Freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills, so I don't know how this compares exactly, but I will let you know my thoughts on this. So I just scooped a little bit onto the back of my hand, and I'm going to coat my spoolie with the product. I also didn't apply any brow pencil yet because I want to see if I can not use it and just get away with a more natural brow today so I have the product in my spoolie let me grab a mirror really quick so that we can get up close and I'm just gonna start by brushing upward I really need to trim my brow hairs because they look crazy but I'm just gonna start by going up to lift the brow and then I am going to take my spoolie and kind of tame these long brow hairs just because like I said I'm not full on board with the fluffy brow yet all right so here's what my brow with the product looks like versus without it definitely looks lifted it definitely looks fluffy we're gonna go ahead and do the other side it looks weird to me just because I'm not used to seeing myself with brows like this, but I don't think I hate it. <laughs> so again, on this side, we're going to start by combing upward, and even though it looks crazy, we will make it look less crazy. I don't know if I just don't have the brows for this fluffy style, or if I'm doing it wrong, or if I just don't like this particular style on myself, but mm, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I like the product itself and I would definitely use it as a clear brow gel, like put pencil in and then, you know, comb upward and then carry it down how I normally do my clear brow gel. But I wanted to try the fluffy brow look because that's what this product is more so intended for so the product itself i like i like that it's clear it goes on clear it's definitely keeping my brow hairs up so far we'll kind of check back in at the end of the video but i like the product itself i just don't think i like the fluffy brow look maybe i'll get used to it maybe you guys can give me some tips in the comments down below but um i think the product itself is really nice and it has a nice finish to it it doesn't make my brows look like matte or overly shiny it just has a nice natural finish so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below next what do we have um we have setting spray and lips left so i guess we'll go ahead and do a little bit of eyeshadow and mascara off camera and then i will be back to do the setting spray which we have the stay all day blue light micro setting mist for long lasting wear and then we have the lip stains and lip liners as well so I will be right back to try out this new setting spray so the eyes are done just in case you guys are wondering I used the nudie number two palette from Laura Lee Los Angeles and I also used the benefit roller lash mascara now we're gonna go ahead and move on to lips so we have three of these lip pencils and then we also have three of these lip stains the lip glossy lip stains retail for six dollars each and the love triangle lip filler liners retail for four dollars each so let's go ahead and swatch the colors and see what they look like it looks like we have some pretty nude shades which makes me happy <laughs> here are the swatches of the lip liners from top to bottom we have soft pink light brown and mauve i think all these colors look super pretty let's go ahead and check out the lip stains i don't know if these are the same colors or not okay no we have different color names so we have power mauve basic beige and pinkies up so let me go ahead and swatch these so here we have the lip stains swatch these first two look kind of similar um, but the first one definitely has more of a pinky undertone and that middle one has more of a warm like peachy undertone so from this one going this way we have um pinkies up i think okay yeah so this one here is called pinkies up 
The middle one is called Basic Beige, and then this one over here is called Power Mauve, which to me this is more of like a corally kind of color, not really a mauve, but let's go ahead and try these formulas out on the lips. I think I'm gonna try out light brown, which is in the pencil formula, and here's what the tip of the lip liner looks like. It has that triangular shape, kind of like Benefit Goof Proof. Um, so let's go ahead and see how these apply to the lips. They definitely have some good pigment. Here's what the light brown lip liner looks like. The shape is interesting. I feel like it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. It's really good for filling in the lips quickly because it has that larger end. But um, I don't like think it's particularly like incredible or anything as far as like shape goes. But the formula feels very thin but also has really nice color payoff which I like. So now we're going to go into the mauve. No, 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 no. We're going to go into Pinkies Up in the glossy lip oil or lip cream or whatever it's called. Glossy lip stain. All right, so here is what the lip looks like with the glossy lip stain. Again, it's a pretty thin formula. It almost has like a gel feel to it. I have felt something similar to this before. Ofra actually has something kind of like this. It's like the flexi something or other. I'm not sure what the name is, but it's similar to that. It's very interesting. It doesn't feel like a regular gloss. It's not sticky at all. It just has like a very slippery kind of feel to it. Not really like an oil. It's, it's a little bit more of like a gel than that. <laughs> but really pretty. I really like this combo and I think it looks cute with the eyeshadow that I have on. So now we're going to finish things off with the setting spray. Now e.l.f. setting sprays are kind of hit, hit or miss for me. Um, sometimes the packaging breaks on them and it sucks because I, you know, want to use up the product. But this is the Stay All Day Blue Light Setting Spray. Um, so it says, lock down your look with this lightweight makeup setting spray that absorbs blue light infused with skin-loving aloe and ender flower extract. It helps keep makeup looking fresh all day with a matte shine-free finish. Touch-ups are a thing of the past. Shake bottle, hold 8 to 10 inches away, close eyes, miss face 2 to 4 times in a Z formation. Please note that due to the natural ingredients, the formula may change color over time. So let's go ahead and give this a shake. It retails for $10 and it says, lock down your look from AM to PM with our aloe infused formula. All right, so let's check out, ooh, this sprayer has a really nice fine mist. It has a scent, but not like, I don't think it's scented. I think the product just has a natural scent. All right. I'm gonna try the Z shape. Normally I don't do that. Normally I just kind of go like all over. Oh, maybe that's what they mean. Like one, two, three, four. All right, well, I'm using a lot, but I like to use a lot of setting spray. I really like the mister on that. It's super fine. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry off for a moment and then we will be back for final thoughts. All right, you guys, so here's the finished look. I really love the way that my makeup turned out today. Overall, I think this collection was a hit. I think the primer is fantastic. This is probably my favorite product from this new collection, either this or the sponge. Both of these were incredible. I would highly recommend trying these out, especially if you like that milk primer or if you've been wanting to try the milk primer. Definitely try this out first. I feel like it's very similar and might even be a little bit better. Obviously, I can't tell you how long it makes my makeup last, but so far, based on my first impression, I think I enjoy this better than the milk one, which says a lot. I also really, really like this sponge. I love how soft it is, how big it is. I like the long, flat sides, so both of those were an absolute hit for me. The brow product, let's see if I can find the brow gel. I think this is also really nice. I like the applicator with the product. I think it's a great product. Like I said, um, not sure how I feel about the fluffy brow, but the actual product itself is nice. Um, I don't think you necessarily need the applicator. I tend to, when I use stuff like this, I will just take this fully and directly dip it in and then twist it on the back of my hand, but I guess it's probably a little more sanitary to use this side. So it's only $4. It has really nice weight to it as well. It feels very nice. So I think you don't need this if you have another spoolie, but I guess it is nice to have a more sanitary way to scoop out the product. And then, like I said, the product itself is 
very nice. It's softer than I expected it to be. So it's way softer than like the Patrick Ta one. Um, this feels more like like gel, more of a gel than a solid, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I think these are great. They were really fun. I definitely can see myself playing with those more in the future. I just dropped the spoolie. Um, it's not like when you go to, but I think it's great. And then the setting spray, like I said so far, it's only been like a couple minutes since I applied this, so I can't give you my thoughts as far as how well it works for keeping my makeup on all day, but I can say that I love the mister. It feels really nice, and I don't have anything negative to say about it right away, which is always good. And then lastly, we have the lip products. So these lip pencils are nice. I like that they're thin. They don't like cake on products, but they have really good color payoff, so I do like that about these. I wonder what other shades they have because... I want more of like a pinky beige. If I could find that, I would be so happy. And then the glossy lip stains. Yeah, these are nice as well. I actually wiped off the swatches and you can see that they did leave a stain on my skin. So I'm interested to see what this looks like when it comes off. But I think all these products were great. I think they're worth... <laughs> I think they're worth trying out or checking out at least and seeing if they have colors that appeal to you. So thank you so much to Elf for sending this package over. This video was not sponsored in any way, but we did try every single product in here. And like I said, it was a success. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in in the next one. Bye!